Hi, welcome to The Breakfast Club. I'm Kazoom, and sorry I haven't been making that many videos for this channel. Um, I, I've been dealing with a lot of self-esteem issues, and primarily issues of realizations of how wrong I've been about just a number of things in my past. Things that I, I for years and years, I, I thought, oh, I'm in the right, I was in the right in that, I was in the right, and then I look back and go, no, no, I wasn't. No, I wasn't in the right. And, and some of these things are things I'm not going to... I I don't know if I'll really tell anyone, but maybe I'll tell a therapist if I see a therapist at some point. Um, but... Yeah, just looking back and going, wow, how wrong I was. And sometimes in attitude, sometimes in, in just opinion, sometimes in, well, just, just a number of areas. And... It's hard for me not to dwell on it. And I have a real hard time dwelling on things to the point where I will and obsess on, on, on and go through scenarios to the point where I will, if there's no one around, I'll, I'll pace and I'll talk as if I'm talking to a person from my past to try to try to work out some sort of problem. Well, if I did this differently, maybe this would have turned out differently. So I'll go through the scenario. And there have been times where I've done it for like an hour, pacing and going through some sort of scenario. And I know if anyone saw it, they would probably say that I'm schizophrenic or something on that order. And I sometimes wonder whether I am. Uh, I do have some mental issues. Um, that's why I'm on disability income, uh, but man, uh, I'd like to stop doing that. I would, but it's sometimes hard. And especially when I go through one of these things where I realize, oh shit, I was wrong. So when... We I, I'm down. I, I, I'm, I'm dealing with some depression. I know it's eventually going to pass. But... Another thing is after I watched... This is just recent. This is something that's, that's going through my head just recently. I, I watched this video talking about um, how Facebook and so other social media has really messed up our society, has messed up our culture. Um... I mean, the fact that if someone gets up, you, you, you wake up and one of the first things you think about is to check your phone, you know, that's kind of weird. Um, you know, before you even, you know, do your normal morning routine, it's check the phone. You know, and if you look, if you go, if you walk somewhere and there's there's a lot of people walking around, half, you know, not half of them, but you, you see a, a significant portion of people with these in front of their faces, you know. <clears throat> And there was the problem for a while there where <clears throat> people were getting hit by cars because they walked right into traffic, you know. Um, but no, the things that social media does to us, um, it's allowed the... It, it, this, this, I, this, it said much better in the video, but it kind of, it kind of goes into how the Dunning-Kruger effect comes into place um, along with, with tribalism. Um... The people who know some of the least about a subject are the ones that that espouse the strongest opinions about those subjects, and the people who know the most about the subjects are the ones that are keeping quiet. And then there's a tribalism. And then the worst part is how all of this is making is making us lose our empathy. There's this clip on that video that, that I'm leaving a link to in the description bar. There's this clip showing a group of teenagers filming and watching this guy drown. And then when he drowns, they're, ha ha, he's drowned. He just died. That's what this shit creates. That's what this is doing to our culture. And so we don't care about the feelings of the people who we disagree with. And what's really pathetic is 
there are people out there who actually state the, the, the phrase, fuck your feelings. Well, this is where that's gotten us. This is where fuck your feelings has gotten us. We're, we're losing our empathy. Look where it's taking us. Tribalism, not caring about, about the, the feelings of the people that you disagree with. This is what happens. So to those of you saying, oh no, fuck your feelings. You, 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 do you realize the monster you've created here? We need to care about people's feelings. We don't need to care about them more than facts, but we do need to care about people's feelings. So anyway, this video is kind of all over the place. So I guess I'll, I'll, uh, I'll hit stop now.